AI is at a stage where the internet was in 1995. Can you explain what internet is? That right. little mark with the A and then the ring around it. At? See, that's what I said. Mm -hmm. um, Kay said she thought it was about. Yeah. Oh. In the early days of AI, we had rule-based systems that followed strict instructions, like alarm clocks or thermostats. Then came a more savvy AI era, where technology started to understand context, just like how your favorite digital assistants, Siri and Google, learn about our habits and predict our needs. It's Sunday, July 27, 2014. In the third stage, domain-specific mastery became prominent, exemplified by Google's AlphaGo, which mastered the game of Go. These systems analyze data, spot patterns, and make informed decisions. These three foundational stages have paved the way for the future, but are you ready for an intelligence that might make us look like mere ants in comparison? Yes, we're talking about the seven intriguing and potentially scary stages of AI especially AGI, ASI, and the chilling concept of singularity. AI and AGI. Now let's talk about stage four of AI, which is where we are right now. Instead of just handling data, AI dives deep into it, finding connections, identifying unusual patterns, and making logical sense out of it all. This level of understanding is powered by machine learning and deep learning techniques, enabling AI to learn from its experiences and get better with time. Today, we have tools like ChatGPT and Devon that can turbocharge our work. Software engineers who used to spend years learning multiple programming languages are now said to not learn any language. It is our job to create computing technology such that Nobody has to program. This is where AI begins to finally mimic human intelligence, and in many cases, exceed it. For example, using an image generator, I used the prompt futuristic affordable computers, and it looks exactly how I imagined it. Here, I asked it, loser of the 2024 federal election, and it knew right away. I even asked it for the average technomic subscriber, and I'm sure most of us thought we were looking into a mirror. Well, subscribe if you haven't. Now, due to these mind-boggling answers capabilities, many predict that we will be able to create AGI or artificial general intelligence into the next couple of years. And it doesn't mean 2040 or 50. It means 2030, just six years later. Well, AGI referred to as strong AI represents a form of artificial intelligence that equals human intelligence in all aspects. This AGI will surpass specialized expertise and human-like reasoning, mastering a wide range of intellectual tasks with at least human-level accuracy. For this reason, some people believe it's extremely dangerous, while others see nothing but potential. According to ChatGPT OpenAI CEO Sam Altman, we can achieve this level of intelligence even much sooner. Is I expect that by the end of this decade, and possibly somewhat sooner than that, we will have quite capable systems that we look at and say, wow, that's really remarkable. When an interviewer asked Shane Legg, the founder of DeepMind, about AGI, he referred to AGI as the golden age of humanity. So within months of AGI being with us, so to speak, it's quite possible that some of the scientific challenges that humans have wrestled with for decades, centuries, if you like, will start to tumble in, in rapid succession. Yeah, I think it'll open up all sorts of, all sorts of amazing possibilities. And it could be really a, a golden age of humanity. ASI. Stage six introduces us to artificial superintelligence, an era of AI that pushes the boundaries of human comprehension. Imagine a human compared to an ant that's the level of difference between us and ASI. ASI could tackle complex global issues like climate change or disease, innovate in unprecedented ways, and unlock mysteries of the universe beyond our current understanding. We will also likely see incredible advancements in cybernetic enhancement, a world where people can be half robot, half human, seamlessly integrating technology into their bodies for improved abilities. AI chips could be connected directly to the brain, granting enhanced cognitive functions, faster processing speeds, and heightened problem-solving skills. This merging of biology and technology might raise some eyebrows. People could ask, 
Why would you want artificial superintelligence implanted in your brain? What's wrong with being a natural human? Yet, the potential benefits from solving complex problems to unlocking new levels of creativity could make this a popular choice for those seeking an edge in an increasingly digital age. Click on the card in the upper right corner if you want to learn more about how these chips will work. Singularity The technological singularity is a concept where AI advances to a point where it's capable of improving itself so rapidly that the world changes in ways we can't fully comprehend. It's similar to how a singularity in physics is a point where our equations no longer make sense and give infinite values. Just like we can't accurately measure the mass of a black hole or the temperature of the Big Bang, we can't predict what happens beyond this technological tipping point. Check out these videos on your screen about AI, because AI is the future.